These are traditional. Uh, we're going to start out with the, an Irish dish called cold cannon. Cold cannon. Cold, C O L. Okay. And uh, what it is, it's basically a mashed potato type dish with mm -hmm. some boiled cabbage and then the um, corned beef added into it. All righty. So I was going to bring some uh, short ribs, uh, which are beef, and uh, I was going to just tell you that it takes about three weeks to cure, so I was a little out of time. Oh, that's so, okay. We won't well, hold it against what you. What I would do is recommend just go to the store and let uh, the professionals who do that kind of stuff, and it'll be just fine. It'll be so just get fine. A, get, a, get a nice piece of brisket. But what so, are the basic ingredients besides, obviously, the cabbage? What do we have here? We've got some ham uh -huh. uh, that you want to boil real tender, green onions, parsley, a little butter, milk, and, of course, the potatoes. So okay. we'll start with the butter in our pan here. This is kind of... Uh, an enhanced mashed potato. It's okay. like going to be a great side with your corned beef now, dish. Now, do you typically serve Irish food? Um, Not typically. We, we have some specials tonight. We're mm -hmm. going to be doing this dish along with the um, cake I'll show you later on. And, uh, but um, we don't typically serve it, no. No. Mm -mm. Now, how did you come up with this particular recipe? You know, I did some research on the internet and just um, decided that this one seemed interesting and I liked the fact that it was kind of a cabbage and mashed potatoes together. Okay. Oh, now, you broke it. I broke it. Again, how do I do this? Okay, it's unlocked. So you want to get your potatoes mashing up. Do I okay. hold this, Brendan? We're going to add our ham. Okay. How are you? You're, you have magical skills. Well. Because this is actually melting, but this thing's off. But, you know, <laughs> I apparently didn't learn that in my introduction. Um, let's talk a little bit, too, about um, some of the ingredients. Like, what if somebody is not real fond, I say, of, of, the, of the green onions or the, the chives? Oh, you can, you can leave that out. You could add bell peppers mm -hmm. or, um, you know, you could add different types of potatoes, the red skin or Yukon gold, which is what we have here. Uh, you could do red cabbage, green cabbage, um, Napa cabbage. So okay, there's a so ton of different variations that you can make on this. And then we'll put the green onion in there. Now, is it intended to be served as a side or just, I'm referring only to the potatoes, or just It's a side a dish. It's, it's, a, a, it's side. a side dish, and, okay. I, and I definitely would recommend serving it alongside the corned beef. And then we're going to add a little milk to cream now, it Now, at what point are we adding um, the milk? Is that after the, everything is kind of moistened? And yeah, we're moistening. You boil your potatoes very tender, and of course, then you want to, like I said, it's like an enhanced mashed potato, so mm -hmm. just typically how you would make mashed potatoes with cheddar cheese or bacon gotcha. or anything like that. This is kind of the Irish twist to that. And Tell then, me a little bit about Carefree Station. What's the ambiance like? And, and um, Well, right now it's perfect. The weather is about 69 degrees at night, so the outside seating and the views from the roof are, are just breathtaking. Mm -hmm. um, we have a very eclectic menu. We just... Uh, Recently, won some awards in Arizona Foothill Magazine for best brunch and Mexican Ooh. food. And um, producer Denise is crazy about breakfast and brunch. Well, you have to come for brunch. Uh, what do you typically have on your brunch menu? It's an a la carte menu, um, and we serve um, tr traditional eggs Benedicts mm -hmm. and over-the-top uh, French toasts. And uh, please do. Okay. So this is the um, the, the mashed potato dish. Mm. It's cabbage, ham. Potatoes. And then it the tastes a little bit there? like, um, like a like a breakfast. Um, like I would eat the corned beef hash. Yeah, I guess it's the ham and the potato. Like, yeah, I love it. Very good. I especially like this part right there. Well, thanks <laughs> for getting the stove to work. So we had it hot. So it's actually warm. Exactly. <laughs>